them that sin rebuke before all, that others also may fear. So in the church, he teaches those that sin rebuke before all. Right? There's an order of things. You know, if I if I hear you say a bad word in the parking lot, I'm not. Oh, I'm just going to rip you up tonight. I'm going to embarrass you. Listen, there's a, there's a time and a place and an order for everything. And if it gets to this point in church discipline, you do it before everybody. Again, it shouldn't be hidden, right? And this is something that the old IFB has wrong. Yeah. They have dead wrong. Number one, everybody goes home and has roast pasta for lunch. Did you hear what he said? And, and he's guilty. Of, you know what I mean? Number two is when the pastor disciplines somebody in the church, they try to cover it up. Well, so-and-so was caught doing something. We better sweep this under the rug before people find out. Now, is that what the Bible says? No, no it says rebuke before all. Right. Hey, somebody was caught stealing. This is what happened. This is who knows. Here's the facts. He's been rebuked. Either there's repentance and forgiveness or they've been cast out. Right. Plain and simple. No questions, no wondering, no gossiping, no saying things that aren't true. It's open in the light. That's what happened. Everybody knows. Right? If we would stick to that, things would be much better. Right? No secret proceedings in the church. No secret proceedings. It doesn't make sense. And listen, sometimes people have personal problems or counseling. That's different. Right? Church, church discipline is open and public for the, hear, for the hearers. That they will hear and fear, the Bible talks about in other places. That people know what happened. If, if I find out that somebody is in open fornication and they refuse to get it right, they either won't stop or they won't get married, I will rebuke them publicly from the pulpit. The Bible tells us to do that. We're commanded to do that. Drunkenness. If I find out that, that every weekend you're hanging out with drunks at the bar and then you come into church, you think it's no big deal, it's okay. I find out that you're known for selling pills or smoking weed and you're a drunk and you come into the church and hey, we will rebuke you openly so that others will hear and fear. This is God's pattern. If I find out you're a false accuser, I find out you're on the internet as a troll saying things that aren't true or you're trying to take people to court just to get money out of them for something that's not right. You know, you stage a wreck or something. Hey, that's wrong. That's extortion, right? That's false accusations. You know, public correction is godly. That's the way it ought yeah. to be. 